Hi everyone, I'm Vic. Today I'm going to talk about multi-streaming with tools that do it for free versus a paid service. Now I do want to mention the internet speed is important. For those wondering, I do use Google Fiber. Now make sure your internet can keep up. If not, I would suggest using a paid service such as Restream. There are plenty others out there. First things are tools to do this. There's a plugin called Multiple Output for OBS. And another one you'll need is Caster Labs, which serves as a multi-tool and a combined chat feature. Once you install them, we can get started. Now, the links will be provided in the description below for each one. Now, once they're installed, you're gonna wanna configure a few things. If YouTube is your main streaming platform, you'll need to change some settings for multiple output to stream to Kick and Twitch to be at the same as far as picture quality, audio quality across the board, and things will run 100% smooth. Now, you could change it for each platform in the formats if you, your GPU will allow that kind of workflow. I have seen this as a trend with dual PC setups as they have a dedicated streaming PC and a dedicated gaming PC. I currently do not have a dual PC setup nor an AV1 encoder to test out different configurations, but this is a simplified version of those who don't have a GPU that can do different encoding settings for each platform. Dual PC setups do this very well um, and they do it for All right, so the ingest server is actually going to be the screen that I was talking about a moment ago. So the closest one for me is going to be Central Dallas because I'm in Texas, so I would copy this and I would put this here. Now, you would need to copy your stream key again, and then you're gonna paste it in between these brackets right here. I'm not going to do that on stream because I'm not giving my stream key out. But you would label this, and you would select Sync Start with OBS. Once you do so, you're going to be set up for Twitch. Now, the next one is going to be Kick. It's a rinse and repeat process. So of course we're gonna sync start with OBS. We are going to label this kick and we are going to go to our kick dashboard and we're gonna copy a couple of things. So the first thing we're gonna copy is a stream URL and then we're going to paste our URL here and we're going to copy our key and we are going to paste that here. And that's it. Um, you can set up other platforms. Um, I do recommend seeing if you can get a set streaming key as well as a set streaming URL if you're going to do TikTok um, or Instagram. I can tell you that from the experience that I've had, um, I have not been able to get a stream key for TikTok, but I have for Instagram. And what I've noticed is you still have to open up an app, like you're streaming from an app to do so, to see your chats. So there's no way to integrate that um, into Caster Labs yet. And the other thing I don't like is that you have to change the stream key every single time you go live. And when you are typing into it, it is coming out backwards, like a mirrored image. It's extremely weird uh, on PC. So that's why I don't go live on those platforms. TikTok is a little bit different. Um, you have to reach a certain threshold. I think it's a thousand before you can actually go and, and be live. Um, I had the pleasure of testing out their live platform, which was great. Um, but I can tell you that when it comes to their specific, um, the way that TikTok is designed, it's designed for mobile use when you go live. It's not designed for desktop. Now they have the desktop app. And one thing I do love that I wish OBS can provide in the future is the horizontal or vertical preference where, you know, if, if a person or a viewer is actually holding the phone and they tilt it sideways, it automatically changes to that layout that you set up for it. And if they go vertical, it automatically goes to the vertical format that you set for it. Um, I would love to see a feature like that in OBS, but we just don't have that yet. Maybe it might be easier um, to just continue to use the TikTok Live Studio app uh, for those that are doing TikTok streams or that are doing, um, what is it, uh, Instagram. Now, I know there is another platform. I don't usually recommend using them, but they actually have just a little check mark and it lets you do it. Um, 
Personally, it comes with a paid subscription either way. It's still either going between that particular service and Restream. And I was moving away from that because I wanted to do something that was going to be free, especially for people who are starting out um, in streaming and they're building their platforms, they're building their the viewer base. And uh, that takes time. That takes time and takes effort. The other thing is, you know, not everybody is on the same platform, so it can be challenging and not everybody has the funds to upkeep with every single platform. So this is a free way to do that instead of having to pay a service like Restream. Now, to kind of piggyback on that, if it is something to where your PC is not able to do what multiple output can do, then a service like Restream would probably come in handy. I think Caster Labs actually provides a specific function for that as well. And I think there's only a certain um, platforms that you can stream to. I think another one was called Aircast. Um, so there are some that would be beneficial and they all have different pricing ranges. So, you know, you should probably check out those options if you're looking for a paid service. If not, this is definitely the way to do it. Next is going to be Caster Labs app, which is a hidden gem for multi-streaming. Firstly, you're going to connect your account in settings and then under accounts, uh, you have a few more things that you can do. I personally have changed the appearance of the app and I love dark mode as well as the North theme. I currently use Caster Labs on my Elgato prompter so I can see chat and my viewer count. Now, I do wanna mention the Elgato prompter uh, camera hub app only has a Twitch chat beta for the prompter. And this doesn't allow me to see all of my chats on there. So the workaround is um, being in display mode instead of um, chat when using the prompter with Caster Labs in full screen. Now for the people who do not have an Elgato prompter, there's still a way to use things, which is gonna be in OBS. And that's a very simple thing to configure. They even have amazing videos. Um, and it uh, is, creating a custom browser doc, and it's a very simple thing. They even have a show me how video clip to follow. Once it's set up, you'll be able to see your viewer count, you'll be able to see your chat. Um, and I think you can even see the activity. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the setting up the accounts and everything that you can do amazing here in uh, Caster Labs. So first things first, you are gonna wanna connect the platforms that you can to Caster Labs. And that's for me, you can, uh, for me, I have Twitch, YouTube and Kick, but you can do Trovo. I personally don't know what Trovo is. I've never used it. I've never heard of it until like maybe two days ago. <laughs> and then there is DLive. I do not know what that is either. Um, and then there's a TikTok beta, right? So you can see your chats for TikTok. Um, if you have a stream key for TikTok where you can put it in OBS, then this would be a beneficial thing to do. But like I said, there's a certain threshold you have to reach and if not, you're still using TikTok Studios Live. Um, if TikTok could provide a set stream key and a set URL, I, I would be connecting that right now and I would actually test out my verticals for TikTok while I'm live. But I just don't have that. I haven't reached that um, threshold in the platform yet. So, you know, if, I appreciate it if you do follow if you like the videos um it helps me and then i continue to make more content across different platforms but anyways let's get back on track here <laughs> um so the widgets and alerts right see where it says show me how they have these amazing little videos showing you how to create a custom browser doc so basically you would come here you would select custom browser doc and you would copy and paste the URL that the widget gives you. So that way you're able to see your viewers. Um, there is going to be right here where you add them. So you can add alerts, you can add labels, you can add interactions like a chat or even an emoji rain, which is really cool. It's like an emoji wall, what Stream Elements does. Um, and then of course there's goals and other like cam widget or now playing widget. Um, and then of course the docs. So the docs is what we're talking about right now. You would just basically copy this and you would go to docs, custom browser doc, and it would actually be this right here. <laughs> I've already done it. Um, and then you would just click on viewers right here and it would tell you, you have 16 viewers. Currently I'm not live, so this is inaccurate, which is why I'm hesitant on using the actual viewer count but I primarily use the chat function. Um, same thing with chat. You can actually go here to custom browser. We can label this chat. 
And what we can do is go to Caster Labs, copy the chat. It's that simple. And you just paste the URL there. And then look at that. You can actually just drag it in, resize it, change it here, and you'd be able to see your Twitch, your Kick, your YouTube, if you're doing TikTok, your TikTok chats, which I think is a really amazing thing. Personally, I don't use that for what I'm doing. And then the last thing is going to be the activity, which is something that they have here in their activity feed. Now you can also do this in their app, but we're gonna go ahead and set this up here as a browser doc so that way we can see it. And we're gonna paste the URL. So that way you all can see what the activity is. And if there were any activity, we'd be able to see it from here. We can actually change a couple of settings in here. Um, but I don't use it for that since I have the prompter. I can actually just go to my dashboard. And in my dashboard, this is my chat area. This is my viewers. So in order to get this format, Yes, you saw me hover. You have to do one by two if you're wanting to see what your viewer count is and adding your chat. Now, if you wanted to have the activity as well, you could do three. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is actually change this to activity feed. So here would be our chat, here would be our viewer count, and then there would be our activity feed. Personally, I only need two and I'm gonna resize them. So you want to make sure that when you're doing this, at least for those who have the prompter, you want to make sure that you're able to see the viewer count and you want to make sure that you're able to see your chat. Now, in order to make sure that you're able to see it sized correctly, you're actually going to go here to text size and change it. But if it's still too small for you, you can actually open up your dashboard again, go to settings. And I only know this because I was actually reaching out to them on Twitter for this, but you can go to Zoom and Zoom will actually help you see things that might look small and boxed in on a prompter and you can make it so much bigger. Um, you don't wanna do it too big because in the menu it looks a little weird, but you can change the themes. There's a whole bunch of different themes here and they even have a cyberpunk theme. They have bronze, caster lab, nor, I prefer nor. Um, there's an emoji system, so you can choose the type of emojis that you want to see on your screen. I just go with the regular. Um, you can change the icon, which is pretty cool. I leave it standard. Um, you can change your language and appearance. You can go to follow your system or light or dark. We, we, we choose dark. We're not trying to flashbang people here. All right, so that's gonna be it for Caster Labs. This is gonna be the dashboard and that's how you set that up. Now, the reason why I wanted to show these things is because it's extremely simple to set up, to stream across multiple platforms. Um, and it's going to be something that's going to be free. You know, and you don't have to pay for a streaming service to do it, permit it that your PC will allow you to do so. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about another feature in Caster Labs, and that's the chat bot. So let me go ahead and uh, get that ready for y'all. I thought I was done with Caster Labs, but there was one more thing I wanted to show y'all. So in the chat bot feature, right, you have things like shouts, you have things like timers and settings. I might have to reconfigure my shouts. Um, so if anybody follows you, you can put whatever you wanna put. Thanks for the follow. And then it'll do it from any platform, right? And it will thank the person. Now, if somebody was donating, you can put thanks for the donation. And it will at whoever your user is, right? which is really amazing. Like I said, it's a very simple tool to set up. Um, and then if anyone subs, right, you can reply, thanks for subbing. Or thanks for the subs, it sounds better. And then the last one is a raid party, right? So like if you get raided from whatever platform, wait, I think that's all of them, yeah. You can reply with, thanks for the raid, bro. But we don't want to call everybody bra, right? Because like bro, bra, it, it can be a little offensive. So we'll just say thanks for the raid. Um, I will probably change that and put like, oh my God, like personality. You got to you gotta tailor things towards who you are. But yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much it, right? Like you just set this up and you go. Now timers, like if you don't use stream elements or you don't use 
I wasn't gonna say it. But if you don't use Streamlabs, um, then there's this. You can actually set up a custom message um, to spam in your chats between every, what, 300 seconds or, you know, 500 seconds, however long you want that duration to be. Um, and usually you could put links like join my Discord or, you know, here's my link tree or here's my media, catch me on other places, that kind of thing, which I think is amazing. Um, and then of course there's settings for it. You can hide the commands, shout outs, etc. Um, you can hide the, the timers from chat. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a really, really amazing handy little tool. And this is what it looks like once you set everything up here. Um, we're gonna actually delete that because we have our own timers with stream elements. But uh, I think that's an amazing thing that it does. And then once it's configured, that is it. Now, if you're doing all of these platforms, you always wanna make sure at the bottom to select all. That way you're able to see everything across the board. I just wanted to set this up for you all as far as doing a video. That way you're able to see what the configurations are between OBS and Caster Labs, especially if you're using these platforms to live stream. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for the, the likes, the subscribes. Thanks for hanging out.